guys, Matheus Castello here today with another quick vlog. Uh, I want to show you some scripts that I create for Powerline. Uh, I try to reproduce the same behavior, the same features uh, for both for the Powerline for PowerShell and Powerline for uh, Linux that we can use the here I'm using the Powerline status uh, Python package. So I write the scripts in Python and write the scripts for PowerShell core. So let's demonstrate here the coolest feature. In, in my view, this is the coolest feature of these scripts. Uh, I create here a segment that returns random emojis for command errors. For example, if I type here new, new is not recognized, so this will return an error. So I get here a reaction on an emoji, a random emoji. For example, bananas is, is too as command is not recognized. So I get, oh, the random is not working. So list, list is not recognized too. So for each uh, command error, for example, I, I'm not in a Git repository. So I will try to Git status. This is not a repository. So this will return an error and I get a random emoji and this will change the color of my segments to head. This means that the last command is it with the error code. And I have the same behavior here on the power line for bash. So if I type some comments that do not exist or uh, bananas or git status, I'm not on a git repository, you get random emojis here, set or angry reactions for my errors and the segments changing the color for red. And if I type some command that returns success, this will uh, display the cool emoji with the green background. The same behavior to here on uh, the PowerShell core. Another cool feature is the Docker segment. I created here a script that shows me some Docker information. For example, here I know that I have on my machine 27 Docker images, and I, if I run here some container, let's run here on Debian. This Docker segment will show me how many Docker containers I'm running at the moment. The and same behavior I have on the Powerline status. We can see here 27 Docker images and one Docker uh, container. Let's run more one. And now I have two Docker containers running. And the same behavior uh, on the PowerShell core. And there is also a feature here, a segment for Git information. For uh, let's go to some uh, folder that is a Git repo. So you can see here that we have instead the cool emoji. Now we have the information about the branch. On this repo, I am I'm on the dev. Uh, branch and they have the same behavior here for the power line status on bash. Let's go to uh, my Linux repo. The, now you can see I'm on the master branch. And if I check out, for example, for my uh, WSL config branch, you can see that this will change here the information about the branch. And we can see here another uh, feature for Git too. This segment will show me how many files I have modified on my repos. So with this, I can see if I have files that is not committed yet. Okay, so cool. Uh, I think I demonstrate all the features uh, of the scripts. And if you want to use it, if you want to customize it, 
all this uh, is on my github okay i also wrote some blog posts about this you can follow the steps of these blog posts and here we can see how to set up how to get the code for the powershell car and also for the bash uh, i also have blog posts about how to install the powerline for bash and how to install the powerline for windows terminal with uh, the powershell and i will leave all these links for these blog posts on the description uh, below okay and if you want to customize it is not difficult at all you can for example use my code as base let's open here my profile uh for the powershell core we will put the segments on the profile here okay so we have to import the powerline model and with this we will have this prompt variable this prompt variable is a list of script blocks and for each script block we will have a segment for example here i have the docker uh, segment that is a script block so if you want to customize it you can for example if you do not want to use the docker segment you just uh, you remove this script block and is it and if you want to add some segment you can add a script block here with an output and this will be displayed on your power line see see here the high segment is all last script block I put some tips about this on my blog post okay so but you can also check uh, the information here from the Joel powerline uh, model this is the powerline model that i'm using from Joel bennett okay Joel make a good work with this powerline model this is in my view this is the most extensible and most customizable uh, powerline model for powershell and on linux if you want to customize this is a python um, package here i have this i have this code on my github and also i have the tips about this on my blog post okay so we have to edit the custom python file here and with the powerline status this is a, a, a python package right so we have to write the segments in python too uh, for each of the segments for each of these uh, features or segments here is a class so you if you want to write a segment you have to write a class and this class has to return here uh, the contents that is the text the string that will be displayed on the segment and the highlight groups that will be the color the background color and the foreground color of the font so and if you have some doubt about the api because the power line itself the power line status itself has a, a good api uh we have a good documentation too i will leave the link on the description too um for the documentation of the power line oh and it's good to mention here that here i'm using the new windows terminal and my linux here i'm using the the ubuntu 20.04 okay but in the windows subsystem for linux using the windows subsystem for linux too but i tested i tested this powerline status package on native Debian and on a native Ubuntu and this is work without issues okay the same instructions for blog posts about uh, how to install the power line for bash you can use on the WSL and also in a native 
Linux. So yes, uh, this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, you can leave these questions here on the comments below. Or also you can add me on LinkedIn. I will put the link for my LinkedIn on uh, the description too. Okay, so yeah, I see you on the next video.